The Flash, one of the best American superhero TV drama series created by Greg Berlanti, Andrew Kreisberg, and Jeff Johns, airing on The CW have the best cast ever. We can notice the turbulent, stormy relationships in the show, but is that the same considering their private life? Stay with us and find out about The Flash, the truth about their relationships in real life. My name is Barry Allen, and I am the fastest man alive. There are numerous reasons why we adore the Flash casts, the incredible costumes, awesome storylines, unbelievably comical characters, even more. This makes the Flash cast so adorable. One of the biggest reasons is the great and magical chemistry between them. They look so natural and extra close, both on screen and as much in their private lives, it's more than obvious that behind their masks, they together have one common enormous superpower, and that's of course, music. After all, it seems that the magnificent new would prefer bounding rather than music. And they're absolute naturals. So with that said, there's no doubt why the show decided to make a musical crossover with Supergirl. On top of that, tell us, have you noticed Grant Gustin's beatboxing skills? Perfect. He's a real pro. It looks like dancing on some casual song and having fun is the way they bond and prove their enormous love for one another. How sweet is this, guys? Even though they're best friends, they can sometimes ask for their number, especially when using this popular song with little alterations. Can you see how these two try to take her number? We must admit that this is quite an innovative and unique way to do it, so you can use this trick whenever you want to take your crush's number. However, while everyone is expecting an actual triangle between these three, yes, believe it or not, everyone thought that Candace is in a secret relationship with these men. It turns out that that's not the truth and that they just want to play with themselves making various jokes such as this one. Iris met you. This is crazy. Here's my number. Maybe. The cast adore spending their time having a great laugh together while singing their favorite songs. It looks like, over the past six seasons, the cast has turned out to be a quite bad influence on each other. How is that so? They all, in such a fast way, developed quite the potty mouth and that's so hilarious, we must admit. Nothing makes us believe that their bond is so strong than collecting each other's bad traits. On top of that, even Danielle Panabaker also absorbed the behavior of their lovable cast and started using swear words on a regular basis. Stole our powers. He scanned our metahuman genes. Genes? That's where you say Ralph and Mary? Oh, <laughs> I'm life. You can see that in these scenes, she literally forgets that she's on set filming. The unbelievable bond and huge friendship have caused them to have the same language and behave exactly the same way. They literally function as one. It's also very clear that they adopted each other's quite fascinating vocabulary. But eventually, even the biggest superheroes need to pause with living their excellent lives while using unsuitable curse words and ultimately come back and do the best at what they're known to be the best for, and that's rescuing the people around. If we put all the jokes and giggles aside, it looks as if our best superhero, Barry Allen, is always going to come to rescue his leading dames. Specifically, when we talk about the awful net tools. This man is always ready to be the hero and save these on-screen love and also real best friends in his private life from the net tools. So it looks like after the whole six seasons, some of the fans are still angry that his best friend Candace Patton, who's a woman of color, is acting as Iris West due to the fact that this character was normally white in the comic books. But that's not really important to them. Gustin said openly on the internet that Candace is always going to be his Iris, such a friend, right? There's no better way to make sure you're someone's best friend than proving all that in front of the whole world. In one video that he shared on his Instagram story, Gustin continued supporting and backing his beloved friend by saying, Our Iris is an African-American actress. She is black, she is beautiful, and she is our Iris. And she always is gonna be, always has been, always will be. She survived a huge period of diversity, especially that affected her self-esteem, but on the other hand, she's a very strong woman. And once she was asked about what advice she has for the aspiring actors and actresses, she said, yeah, I have a lot of advice. But I guess one thing would be to really know who you are. I think it's important in an industry, like the one I am in now, to know who and what you're about before you get into it. You can get a lot of messages from a lot of different people and a lot of the wrong people. You can lose your way if you're not careful. I know it sounds so corny to say stay true to who you are, but it's really important. 
I've tried to focus on that for most of my career and just remind myself what's important to me. I'm glad I've done it because I can go home at night with a good head on my shoulders and feel good about the person that I am. So just be very clear about who you are, what you're willing to do, what you're not willing to do while carving out a career for yourself. She's such a strong woman. It seems as though everybody, once in a while, should be their own superhero. We're so happy that these two are so much connected and have such a great bond together. He's always there for us, even when it comes to games like this one. He tried to help her to name 10 words that rhyme with Flash. This is actually so hilarious. Cash. Dash, cash, mash, mash. hash, Bleh. brash, Rash. Um, sash. 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 Even Compton, who joined this TV show in season 6 as being a reformed criminal and also a metahuman being able to manipulate electromagnetic energy, stated that the Team Citizen Fellowship is present off-camera too. She recalled Patton giving her a compliment after shooting a scene together at the very beginning of the season, saying that she was feeling reciprocally respected as artists working together. It was one of the moments I started to feel a part of the Flash family, Compton stated. So it's more than obvious that being part of this show is something else, that they have an enormous bond even with the new members in the group. So imagine what's the relationship connection between the cast that has already been there for years. This is amazing and all that not only on screen but also behind the scenes. But is that always the case? We don't think so. Even though the cast of this show is often seen as one huge lovable family, they can also easily kick people out of the group. Yes, you've heard it, right? And even though it seems like a joke or something, they had to break contact with one of their co-stars. Hartley Sawyer was kicked out of the show after racist and offensive tweets. And even though he issued a huge apology on Instagram, saying my words irrelevant of being meant with an intent of humor were hurtful and unacceptable. I'm ashamed I was capable of these really horrible attempts to get attention at that time. I regret them deeply. This was not acceptable behavior. These were words I threw out at the time with no thought or recognition of the harm my words could do and now have done today. He wasn't called back in the show. It seems like the Flash family has some strict rules that need to be obeyed there. On a related note, we wanted to know which part was your favorite one from our video. You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.